Okay, first of all, I'm going to apologise if I breathe heavy or cough because I seem to be coming down with the flu of some sort in the summer, believe it or not. But I'm going to show you how to do these graphics, well, how I do them in Illustrator. And to be honest with you, there's probably easier ways. It's just once you've got into a habit, it's hard to lose it. So if you come down to this tool here, it might be on the column width tool originally. If you just select the Pi Graph tool, and just literally drag it out, get a circle. This is the default unit is one, so I use points on this. So let's say I want the large one to be 75%. So we just put 0 0.75, and then go into the second column and put 0 0.25. So that makes it one again. You just click the tick, and then you go to the direct selection tool click off your graph and then click this one section that you don't want and then hit delete and then you can just go to your object selection tool remove the stroke so leave that change the fill to say the blue and close that window as well then grab the ellipse tool and if you go to the center then you can just literally drag out and press Shift and Alt to work from the centre. That will fill it, then give it a grey fill. And then from there, you can just put on your text and go 75% uh, is what we've just emit as. And then say you don't want your graph to be that way around if you want to give it a bit more flexibility you can go to right click the blue section go to rotate make sure preview is selected and you can just rotate it to however you like and that is how I'll do the graphics I hope that helps goodbye